In today's video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite man beaters, um, one of my favorite man beaters in the game. I think this is super simple, but at the same time, super good. Um, we're going to teach you how to beat man out of trips. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get my full trip side in ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, our ebooks, uh, our Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks, including all the updates to those ebooks, any new updates that come out while your membership is active. So make sure to sign up for that today. It's the best way to support me as a small creator. So if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description. All right, guys. So, um, and, and like I said, it's just 10 bucks. Um, so, Pat's YN is probably one of the best man-beating plays in the game for several different reasons. We're going to give you a setup today that I think is super good. Um, you want to have short and a lead on everybody except the outside receiver. Probably want to have short out a lead on him. But the play, uh, this play does require a tight end apprentice. But if you don't have tight end apprentice, I'll, you can just leave the tight end on his route that he's on. It'll work similarly. Um, but I think tight end apprentice is, is pretty important. Okay. So the play is Pat's Y in out of New England in Las Vegas. I think it's just called Y in. And the setup is fairly straightforward. All we're going to do is we are going to crosser our tight end. That's the main thing. And then we're going to run this triangle receiver. We're going to run him underneath. So we're either going to put him on a slant or we're going to put him on a drag. Okay. If you want to block your running back, you can. And if we block our running back, we're going to put this guy on a drag. However, if we out our running back, we're going to put him on a slant. Okay, so you see, if we out the running back, we're going to put him on a slant, and I'll show you what this looks like. Really simple play, uh, but really, really good against man. This uh, slant this year is pretty decent at beating man. It's one of the better man-beating routes that we have. Um, you can, if you want to, you can motion snap him like this, and it'll create kind of this little pick and rub for your out route. And this out route, if you have short out, or no, I'm sorry, short in elite on the receiver that's running this out route, you'll find that this is a really good little quick play that a lot of times will get separation. And then again, your, your slant over the middle. Okay. Um, if you don't want to put your running back on a route, you want to drag this guy and leave him out here and it'll create a really nice little pick and rub for this out route. And as you can see, uh, we'll give you a way to beat man. Uh, this is probably more frequently what I'll call out of this. Because, um, again, you just see, look at that. The guy just literally runs into the drag. And it's super simple but super effective. So, again, this is one of my, like I said, favorite plays for man-to-man. -man. Now, um, the tight end, if you have short in elite on this tight end, uh, a lot of times he will beat his man. Kyle Rudolph is ridiculously slow, and the three wreck from Cover and Robert can be a little bit of a pain. So we'll put a purple out there, and you'll see here. See how he kind of beats him on the cut? That's the idea. So if you have short and elite and you have a little bit faster tight end, you'll find a lot of success with this crosser, okay? So you, you see that, that, and then you also have that little post, and this post is really powerful. I think post... A lot of people were used to throwing posts when they get over the middle of the field. Um, but I think we need to kind of become more accustomed to working the release of the post. So you can throw this in front of an inside third this year pretty well, as you see right there. So really simple play. Again, I want to show this one more time with the tight end route. Um, see there. Boom, boom. Ideally, honestly, like if you have any contesting of your catches... Make sure that you're aggressive catching. Uh, aggressive catching is really good this year. So you want to be aggressive catching when you can. Okay. That was interesting. Um, okay. So let's talk about zone. So this play is really good against the zone as well. You're going to get this. This is where this drag is really good. Uh, because he's just going to get underneath almost every zone. So you can just easily throw this drag. If you have the first setup where you're using a slant, um, let me go to cover four. You'll see here that your running back will clear out the zones and then the slant will be open right in there. So that's a nice little setup there, real simple. Uh, but again, the main thing here is 
your high low between your drag and your crosser so let's say that they sit on the drag or they kind of go guard the drag then your tight end crosser is going to get into kind of a sweet spot over in there and it kind of does depend on who they're using most people that you play they're going to be using this linebacker here so chances are they're going to they're going to sit on this drag and if they do um if they do then you see they're sitting on the drag i can highball that and kind of put that in a nice little soft spot sweet spot against zone so really simple but really effective um and again the slant technically you could do something like this if you wanted to and just not have the out route over here um the pick's not as good but you see the slant does get separation now uh this is also a really good play for cover two um typically should be a touchdown against cover two so uh you'll see here the crosser does a really good job of kind of manipulating the zone and then this post it takes a little while this year but he does beat cover two over the top okay and then uh cover four he can actually uh you see a lot of cover four honestly like if someone's gonna run zone against trips it's probably gonna be cover four um and against cover four, you have a pretty decent chance at getting this touchdown. I feel like they've like recently made that even better than it used to be last year. So you can bomb cover four out of this. Again, the name of the game is getting a little bit more time. But if they're running something like a cover four, chances are you're going to have more time. You know, So again here, as soon as he crosses, you're just going to kind of throw it right into that window. And you see I'm able to bomb cover four. So I'm able to bomb cover four and cover two. Cover three is a little bit harder actually this year uh, just because of the way that coverage works. So what you'll see with cover three, obviously you're going to need some time here. Um, we actually are able to get it. It's not always there though. And you see that all the time is going to be contested. So I wouldn't worry too much about bombing cover three out of this. Primarily because if they're running cover three, chances are they're seeing pressure behind it. So it's going to be difficult to have time. But you really want to work this quick game. This quick game is really the, the big time value. This drag is actually fairly decent. You see, you can get some pretty good separation with the drag this year. And then you have this natural pick for Chris Godwin, which is one of the most important routes in this offense. So there you have it. That's how you beat some of the meta defenses with this. If you are getting blitzed for whatever reason... Um, this is a pretty decent play, especially if you pair it with a wheel. You can do something like this. Have the quick throw wheel. You have the quick throw out route. You have the quick throw drag. You have the quick throw crosser. Right? They're just getting they're getting open quick. And that's the idea with this play. So, anyways, um, if you guys want to learn the rest of the trips tied in offense, make sure that you join uh, my Patreon. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Remember, Patreon members also get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below, and we hope to see you guys join the Patreon page.